for people of my generation it can be sometimes hard to just kind of quantify quite how good Pele is and trying to like understand quite what made him different to players beforehand because we try and watch the clips and sometimes you know it's, it looks a little bit iffy and there's lots of kind of jokes around the defending that he may have faced and stuff like this so for you Tim like what was the kind of quantum leap that Pele brought to football from before and what made him special? Well, I think it was really sweet to see um, recently the kind of exchange of mutual respect and admiration between Pele and Cristiano Ronaldo. You know, when uh, when Cristiano overtook his number of goals in official games, uh, and I thought that was really sweet um, that exchange between them because so often I think as as you alluded, Alex, it becomes almost like a generational war uh, yeah. with um, the kids, uh, the kids just disparaging anything that happened back then and uh, with the oldies saying well nothing that the likes of Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo can do can ever live up to to what Pelé did uh, and obviously I mean it's it, it's very hard to, to compare over eras and and the comparison and the, the conclusion I think that we have to reach is anyway you're all welcome to your opinion about who was the best and so on but let's celebrate all of these you know they, they belong to all of us uh, and, uh, and 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 let's celebrate them. In terms of Pele, um, I think he was probably the perfect footballing machine, both technically and psychologically. I think his uh, his defenders and he himself have probably done him a disservice by stressing so much the one thousand goals thing, because I don't think the greatness of Pele is measured in statistical accumulation. Because it then opens up to the kind of things that you're alluding to then about you know, look at the opposition and, and, and so on. You know, one of the truths about Pelé is that like all truly, truly great players, he was often at his best when it really mattered. The great players come out when the stakes are highest. Uh, Pelé was, uh, th th there's, a, there's a, a clip that I like to show people um, it's from the final of the, the Club World Cup, Benfica against Santos at the end of 62, when he's absolutely at his peak. Now, this competition, it started in 1960 between the winners of the European Cup, the Champions League as it now is, and the, and the, the Copa Libertadores in South America, home and away. And for a few years, this competition was fantastic. Unfortunately, come the, the, the late 60s, it, it, it began to become overtaken by violence and it, be, it became discredited and, and discontinued and so on. And it, it, it's one of those branches of football history that's been forgotten. But for a few years, it was the best club football spectacle that existed. Uh, and this was a huge game. Uh, away to Benfica, the first leg in Brazil, Santos had won 3-2. That's a narrow lead to take back to uh, to Europe, to Benfica. And Benfica consider themselves the favourites. And Pelé puts Santos 5-0 up. Uh, and you, you look at him and he's playing against European champions. And he, he's just running through them as if he's mm. someone from a different species. He was... At, he was technically perfect. He had everything, right foot, left foot, in the air, um, quick, could change direction, um, intelligent, had a wonderful peripheral vision, but also he was psychologically very, very, very good. He's a, he's a perfect synthesis. Um, the two big motivational forces in life are, are pride and fear. And he had them both very, very strongly. He had the pride of his father, who was an easygoing fella, who was a, who was a, a good footballer uh, and had lots of pride in, in his profession. He's got the fear of his mother, who's paralysed by the fear of not being able to feed all of her kids and is dead set against him becoming a footballer because it's not financially secure. So Pelé makes sure that if he's going to make his living that way, he's going to be great and he's going to make money from it. And that, that spurs him on as well. Um, so... Uh, true he doesn't have the world cup in 86 that maradona has that would have been 62 but he gets injured in the in, in the second game yeah. he's still and pele is still unbelievable in, in 58 and in 70 but the world cup doesn't see him right at it's very very uh, at his absolute peak as he did with maradona in 86 true he doesn't have the influence of of di stefano who is the last great product of argentina's golden age 
uh, is great there, goes and launches Colombian football and, and, and makes them a power, and then comes over and changes the history, not only of European football, but of the European continent with the European Cup. Um, you know, remember Spain at the time, it's only 10 years after the Second World War and Spain is still ruled by General Franco. It's like a, like a relic from the Second World War. Everyone hates Spain until Di Stefano's Real Madrid start putting on shows and then Spain becomes a, a, a valued tourist venue. Mm -hmm. Di Stefano changes the course of European history. Pelé's not, not as quite as influential of that, although he's, he's perhaps the principal one responsible for the World Cup becoming a, a, um, such, a, such a television event. Um, so it doesn't quite have that, but... He's maybe the, the 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 best footballing machine that that there's ever been, uh, and uh, you can laugh about some of the defending, but you know those those Benfica defenders, those Italy defenders in nineteen in nineteen seventy, they're the best that's around, mm -hmm. and he's making them look stupid. So uh, he's ahead of the game in terms of his his his, his physical preparation. He's fantastically mentally prepared. He wants. To uh, to use the game as a as as, as a means of, of making money, which is relatively new, you know, uh, um, uh, and uh, he is probably the most complete footballing machine that there has ever been. 